This is a very unique moment in AI. There's a core research problem here, which is how do you build the machines that can remember information indefinitely long. You know, we interact with the system, it turns on, it goes off. We really think from first principles and you're like, hey, what's next? From the very first stage when I first started working on these models, I did feel drawn to them and I felt like there was something really important fundamental there. I got on a plane, went to Hawaii, and I was on vacation for three weeks. Actually, I didn't vacation at all because the whole time I was obsessed with this problem, I knew there was something really important here. I basically just sat on my balcony with pen and paper and was trying to work out the next iteration of this model. That later paper, which was published a few months later, actually became the first breakout statistics model paper. The mission of the company is to really realize this, this idea of like enduring intelligence. We spent the last few years building this new technology called state space models. This is a new way of building AI models that is far more efficient and more capable of uh, developing systems that we can interact with for long periods of time that can remember everything we ever told them. Being the ones who kind of invented it and understood it and really believed in it would have been enough to kind of solve, I think, a lot of things where people weren't really betting behind the same technology. Cartesia is a company that bet behind this technology because we understand it well and we believe in it. And that is a proof of concept to the whole world that these models really do work. No other organization on Earth is, is really pursuing the work that we're doing. We really view ourselves as being innovative and at the edge of model design, model research, architecture research. It feels like the, the, the best possible time to be doing this. There's constant innovation. There's constantly going to be something better that we're working toward. And I think our work is going to be uh, responsive for a lot of the new innovation that happens actually. And there's just so many interesting, challenging problems to solve. Karin and Alberts pioneering work around state-space models is already challenging traditional thinking in AI infrastructure. We believe this will unlock tremendous possibilities for AI-powered applications going forward. We think there's such a, a great opportunity right now to work together with a bunch of talented folks. We have a, a unique collection of individuals who have dedicated the last few years of their lives to uh, building these state-space models and building long-term memory. We are constantly looking for people who also believe that there is more to be done on this front. People who are just generally curious, who generally believe that there is a problem to be solved here and are creative and flexible and willing to uh, continue thinking and innovating along these lines. What we think is, uh, is really great about this, that you get to do something that most people don't think is possible. And I think that's, that's the fun of it.